Welcome back. All right, so we're going to take a look at Finland. Uh, I've taken a look at Canada, US, Russia, Sweden, and now we're going to take a look at the Finnish team, and then I'm, I'm finished. So I finished with the Finnish. There you go. Uh, and, and again, the tournament starts tomorrow, so it would be great to look at every single roster, but the tournament starts tomorrow, <clears throat> and then we'll get into who's playing well, which teams have been a surprise, which ones have been a surprise for right reasons or wrong reasons. And uh, we'll see where Finland ends up on that. So when you look at this overall group, there are a couple of first rounders in here. But in general, this is a team of mid-late round draft picks and guys who are still eligible for drafting. And we'll get into the one that just stands out for funny reasons to me. <clears throat> so Robbie Yerventi, to start off the forward group, drafted by Ottawa this year, 33rd overall. Ottawa had a ton of draft picks early on. So Yerventi was seen as kind of a, a, a boomer bust type player. We'll see which side he, he's leaning towards at this tournament. Anton Lindell, Florida, 2020 draft pick, 12th overall. So he's one of the few f first round draft picks uh, in, in on this team. And Lindell is going to be, um, you would think one of the guys Florida's building around for the next five, 10 years. And he will get every opportunity at this tournament. Pretty sure he's the team captain for the Finns as well. We'll, we'll see how he does. Uh, Pateri Puhaka. Great name. One thing I'll say about players from Finland in general, the best names in hockey. With all, all apologies to players from the Czech Republic, from Slovakia, from other foreign nations, the names for Finnish players have always been my favorites. Uh, Sam, Samuel Hellenius. So I'm thinking probably not Samuel. Could be Samuel Hellenius. Sure. Uh, he's not drafted. Same with Puhaka. Not drafted yet. Um, Mikhail Putia. I believe that's how... Because <laughs> I looked at that and I went, yeah, no. And then I went to Elite Prospects. And Elite Prospects was like, no. They didn't have the pronunciation on there either. I had to go look it up. And Putia apparently is the pronunciation. Columbus, 114th overall pick. And I got to say, with two Ys in your last name, I hope you make it to the NHL. Because that's the last name that you, you want to look at different broadcasters and see how they're going to pronounce it and who's going to struggle the most with it. And we're really going to miss Bob Cole when that guy hits the NHL. We really are. Uh, Roni Hervonen, who was a Toronto 2020 draft pick. Uh, 59th overall, and Toronto shows up a couple of times on this board. Uh, so they they must like drafting Finnish players, at the very least, uh, Dubas does. Uh, Miko Petman, not drafted yet. Yuso Parsonen, drafted by Nashville, 2019, one of the last draft picks. At least 20, 210 should be the last draft pick overall. So just makes it. Uh, Henry Nikkinen, uh Winnipeg drafts him in 2019, 113th overall. Casper Simonteva, LA 2020 draft pick, 66th overall. Uh, Matthias Mantikivi, drafted by Boston in 2019, 185th overall. And then I assume, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I know I know he's playing for Team Finland. I assume a Canadian player that showed up at the wrong, um, the, the wrong training camp and just didn't have the heart to tell him, I'm not actually from Finland, Brad Lambert, or Brad Lambert. Sure, why not? That and I, I don't want to hear the truth. I don't. I don't want to hear. Oh, somebody in the comment section is going to tell. I don't want to hear it. It's more fun this way, anyways. Uh, Aku Ratu also uh, drafted by Arizona, twenty nineteen, one hundred and fifty first overall. Do believe his younger brother is the one that's got all the hype around him for this upcoming draft as well. Um, ben Hemen, Corhonen, as well rounds out the forward group. So another undrafted player. Then you get to the blue line, and this is where some fun names are there as well. Starting with Santeri Hataka, drafted by San Jose, 2019, 184th overall. Ruben Rafkin, who may or may not have come into the locker room with Brad Lambert in this story in my head that I know is not true. I know it's not accurate. I just find it funnier. Uh, Ville Heinola, Winnipeg, 2019, first round draft pick, 20th overall. Emil Vero, drafted by Detroit this year, 70th overall. So Detroit has another pick that they can watch. Detroit seems to have a bunch in this tournament. Uh, Topi Niemela, drafted by Toronto, 2020, 64th overall. So their 59th and 64th picks are on Team Finland. Casper 
Uh, Putio, drafted by Florida, uh, 2020, 153rd overall. Matias Rahaniemi, drafted by the New York Islanders in 2020, 183rd overall. And Miko Kokonen, drafted by Toronto, 2019, 84th overall, rounds out your blue line. So everybody a draft pick except Rafkin. And then in net, there's only one draft pick, but he's got some hype. So you've got Kari Peroinen, who's undrafted as of yet. Joel Bloomquist, drafted by Pittsburgh, 52nd overall in 2020. So Pittsburgh went all in with drafting goaltenders after trading Matt Murray. Smart pick. I think that was a smart choice on their part. And we'll see whether or not Bloomquist is going to be their goalie of the future. In this tournament, we'll see how he does. And Rope uh, Taponen, or Taponen, uh, in net for, for the Finns, rounds things out. He's not drafted yet either. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys on the overall roster, as yet undrafted in the NHL. <clears throat> Going to be looking to impress the scouts. And... Uh, Again, if, if Lambert skated around the ice, I, I'm not Finnish. I'm not, I don't know, how do I tell them? Anyways, I, I know, I know, I know. It's just, it's one of the, I saw the name and I just, I got a little chuckle out of it. Um, I also am aware that you can have dual citizenship and you can play for different teams. Brett Hall played for the USA, even though he wasn't, I'm pretty sure he was born in Canada. I know he had dual citizenship and he was upset because Team Canada cut him. So he played for the Team USA instead going forward but hey there you go let me know your thoughts regarding team finland and how you think they're going to do and one one other caution i would give is don't pay so much attention to one exhibition game i saw people saying well based on the exhibition game this team sucks and this team's great and whoa back up this that's this an exhibition game it's just a warm-up we haven't got into the tournament yet don't count your chickens that whole thing it's just like let's say finland were to beat canada seven to one uh, in a round robin game and then they meet in the medal round it doesn't mean it's going to happen again so i love this tournament it's always a lot of fun and i'm glad i have time to cover it this year and it starts tomorrow christmas day so if you're a bah humbug good news you got stuff to watch tomorrow so you don't have to think about christmas as well we'll be doing a live stream tomorrow too so there you go let me know your thoughts hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video and hey thank you guys so much for all your support i will talk to you again soon